So what's going on here? Nothing. Oh, it sure looked like something. It looked a lot like you just kissed each other or were about to. Oh, come on, back off. Yeah, I don't remember asking okay. your opinion. Honestly, Frank, nothing was going on. Ricky and I were just having a heart-to-heart -heart talk. About what? Casey's gone. Eve's gone. We we're talking about loss and how to handle it. And honestly, Frank, for you to even suggest that yeah, anything else It's not else that was... I don't trust you. It's this little punk taking advantage of your kindness and making a move on you. Yeah, we can see who the punk is around here. And I don't know why the hell she'd have anything to do with a jerk like you. Uh huh. <laughs> there you are again. Now, let's get a better look. Yep. Whoa. Help me, Livy. You've got to help me. Listen, I'll help you. Okay, guys, put your weapons down. You crossed the line, Ricky. You just need to watch it. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. And you need to cut him a little slack. And me, too, by the way. I was just reacting to what I saw. Well, things aren't always what they seem. And nothing happened here that anybody needs to worry about. So, are we done? Yeah. Thanks for your time and everything my pleasure you take it easy yeah i swear you put you and ricky in the same room it's like a testosterone tournament i'm sorry point taken not that it's not flattering, but the kid's in love with Casey. Well, too bad Casey's not here. And he was trying to deal with that. You should have heard him, Frank. He's just a sweet, confused kid that's feeling very abandoned. Uh, I don't think I can work up any sympathy for him. Well, he left his stuff. Well, I'm sure he'll be back when he needs him. Mm. Let's just forget about Ricky. I like that. You know, with everything that's been going on these last few weeks. We know what it's like to deal with loss and heartache, and it's just no time to be turning on your fellow man. Or woman. <laughs> yeah, since you put it like that, I am sorry. I thought you were a man of compassion. Oh, and I will spend the rest of this day proving that to you. Mm. Mm. That would make me very happy. 
You know I've missed you. I'll start the music. I'll set the mood. Okay. Hmm. Nothing's in the fire. Nothing's when I saw fire. her, I saw Jack. She was in the fire. Hey, I saw her. Look at me. No, it's okay. I saw her. No, no, you're just worried. You're worried about her. You're being a good friend. It's just because she's what she's going through. We're all worried about Allison. It's because no, 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 it was really real, fire. you know. No, no, it's okay. Uh, what did you, you do? I was preaching for her and. And I got too close. Here, hold on, let me get some ice. No wonder you're so in shock. Uh, hold on, one second. Okay, come in, sit down. Put this on your Ready? At first, I knew it was a nightmare. And I saw her. And I ring candles and she was trapped. And then I woke up. And I looked in the flames and I saw her face. And she tried to call out for help, but there was no words, just this really terrified look on her face. It's gone now. Okay. Yeah. Jen, please. Don't tell me there's no trouble because I know she's in trouble. Please. Livy, I'm not saying we shouldn't worry about her. She's in any real trouble. How do you know that? How do you know that she's not under some control that she can't get out of right now? You can think you want to, Jack, I'm just really terrified. has just ached oh, for like a thousand years. I haven't seen you in so long, and that smile in those eyes. I know. I know. All I do is I dream about just, just that part of your neck and, and the inside of your arm. <laughs> and how when my heartbeat and yours are so close, it's like they're in the same rhythm. That's when I know I'm exactly where I belong. You are real. Well, what does your heart tell you? To love you. To never let go. You better listen to it, I don't 
disagree with you that Allison might be in over her head. Come on, Jack, like way over her head. Okay, okay, but before we go over there half cock, we need to figure out what we're up against. No. No, Livy, I need to know exactly what we're up against. So what, you want to keep fooling around with that camera? Okay, I know you don't like it around, but I think that camera could be holding the key. Because of the way Rebecca's image sewed up in the picture you took. Yes, it happened again. Oh, no. Olivia, she was there and then she wasn't. And I just need to know more before I can bury that thing in the yard. Okay, how do you plan to do that, Jack? Okay. Look, I think Allison has some other photos, like the ones I've seen. I need to talk to Allison. I'm not so sure she's going to be straight with you. I mean, look what happened when Jamal tried. She practically kicked them out. Okay, Jamal and Allison have a ton of baggage. There's no doubt about that. And what? You think she trusts you? Yeah. I... At least it's, you know, it's worth a try. All right. I'm just praying that this thing hasn't gone too far already. Because if it's already got her in its web... I mean, think about it, Jack. What if Allison isn't even really Allison anymore? This is the first time that I've I've felt complete since you left. You know, I finally feel like I'm at home. You are home. Oh, look at that. You have your magic back. When I have you, I have magic. It's the way it always was, always will be. Well, whatever it is, I love it. And I love this rose, and I love you. Oh. I'm so happy. I want to dance. <laughs> Come here. I'm serious. Please dance with me. Okay. I've gotten better at this, you know. <laughs> You're very tall, you know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well. <laughs> Grand finale. Oh, <laughs> Don't drop me, Rafe. I'm serious. Please, just don't let me go. Don't let me go. <laughs> no, don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. <laughs> no. No. Please make this real for me, please. <sighs> okay. You think I'm overreacting? Um, I didn't say that. Actually, I know why you're upset. Because of everything you went through with the whole Caleb thing. And now you think Alice could be going through something similar, that something not real could be getting a hold of her. Jack, what if she doesn't have the strength to fight it? Hey, hold on. I think you're getting way ahead of yourself. Like, you saw Allison's image on fire, right? Yes, I did. I'm t I saw her. Okay, but her. okay, you did, but there's nothing there. There was nothing there. So maybe you're taking a little bit of information and... I'm blowing it. Am I out of proportion? I never said that. You said it, not me. Okay. Okay, so what do we do? Well, I think we just take it one step at a time, and I think we do it my way. Mm. 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 Okay. Because <laughs> it's hard to say no when you put it that way. Mm. Yeah. If you're not just a beautiful girl, you're smart, too. All right, I need to go back down to the dark room. I left some things kind of crazy down there, so I'm going to pick it up. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry. I love you. Love you.
me, Livy. You've got to help me. Livy. 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 You got to help me. Allison. These candles, they're too powerful and I can't get out. You've got to help me, please. You've got to find a way to get me out of here. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you. I'm coming. Yeah. Livy. Allison, I can't get in. I can't get out. You have to help Allison. me. Okay, okay. I'll try and get through. Okay. Yeah. I won't let Allison make the same mistake I did. She's not gonna like what I'm gonna do, but I have to help her. Stop. You have to stop. Frank, are you okay? I can't, I can't breathe. I can't seem to, to catch my breath. Okay, well, let me help. No, no, I just, I need a minute here. Okay, take a deep breath. It, it just sounds like you're having a panic attack. Okay. This is unreal. I don't, I don't understand. Are you feeling better? I, I think so. God, Karen. I, I am so sorry. That was so weird. My heart was pounding and I couldn't catch my breath. Well, I guess I should be flattered and took your breath away. I've always said that about you, just not so literally. Wow, weird. Better? I'm working on it. Well, uh, maybe the doctor can help. Get away from me, you whore! You make me sick. Hey, 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 hey! Shut your mouth! Frank. She already told you nothing happened between us, all right? How many times do you need to hear Shut it? Shut up, you punk! Frank, what's wrong? Look at you. You think if you stand there half naked, I'll give you what you want? Cover yourself up, you're disgusting! Are you nuts? You can't talk to her like that! You're scaring me. There's something wrong. You touch her again, and I'll break your face, all right? Come on, I'm getting you. Let's go. Frank. Frank. I don't believe that he was actually here. Then explain where this rose came from. 
We're going home. Oh, home? We're going to Ireland. Next, get ready for Soap Center. Then catch a marathon of this week's General Hospital, followed by Soap Center. Only on SoapNet. Tonight, Soap Center, find out why these weddings have one marathon a year. SoapNet has one every weekend. Ah! Now you can relax every Saturday with a Port Charles Marathon starting at 4 Eastern and Pacific. Catch up with all five shows of the week back to back. I do know you. And I am just as stubborn as you are. Port Charles Weekend Marathon. Every Saturday starting at 4 Eastern and Pacific on SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.